Hey Andrew, um, so how do I get like a six pack quick? What's the best, fastest way to get a six pack? Why does it have to be quick? Why does it have to be easy? Why do you think life is all quick and easy? Why can't it be hard and difficult? Why can't you suffer? Because suffering is what gives it value. If everyone had a six pack and it was quick and easy, then it wouldn't be valuable, would it? If everyone walked around with a quick a six pack and they got it easy, then no one would give it. The whole point is that it's difficult to get. Value is linked to difficulty. If you want something that is valuable, you need something which is difficult to obtain. You shouldn't be thinking about quick and easy. You should be thinking about hard, suffering, pain. Going through it. That's what you should be thinking about. This is going to be hard, but I'm going to do it anyway. Because when it is done, then everyone's going to know that I went through something difficult. Nobody, absolutely nobody, gives a f*** about it as much as you're going to have. Nobody cares about it as much as they need to care to fix your life. But nobody is going to come to your bed, drag you out of bed, fuck, drag you to a job, force you to work hard. You are never going to have any of the things you want. You do not get them yourself. The only person who's going to make me happy and live a life that I want to live is me. Nobody's going to do it for me. People say, Tate, what motivates you? And I find that extremely, I think that's a stupid question. I was a four-time kickboxing world champion. For 12 years, I trained five hours a day, six days a week. And I was motivated to train probably about 25% of the time. The rest of the time I went because I am disciplined. If I wake up and I'm unhappy, I will do the exact same things as if I am. I will go to the gym the same. I will work the same. How I feel has no impact on how I live my life. We're grown-ups and we have responsibilities and we have problems and we have pressure. And you don't necessarily have to be happy to perform. You know, and, and happiness will come at the end of the performance anyway. But if your number one goal as a man, if your number one uh, mission in life is just to be happy, that's going to be an extremely vapious existence. You're not going to be a man of substance. Your ability to deal with stress, the amount of stress you can deal with as an individual, directly correlated to your success. If you can deal with stress all day, you're going to be successful. If you collapse under stress, you're not going to be successful. There's no way to the top without stress. In life. But there is a massive correlation between success in life and stress. The more stress you can tolerate, the better your life's going to be. One of the only things in this world you can control is your state of mind. You can't control the weather. You can't control other people. You can't even control your health. One of the very few things in the world you have genuine control of is your state of mind. If you can't control that, then you're just a feather in the wind and life's going to blow you around. I can't imagine truly wanting to quit something and not being able to quit. I can't imagine when I talk to people who say, I want to quit smoking, I say, when? They go, oh, well, soon. Well, that means you don't want to quit. You want to keep smoking for a while and quit later. I can't imagine a, a mind frame or a mindset where I want to do something and can't do it. It's almost dis difficult for me to answer that question because if you have that kind of mind, if your mind is so fundamentally broken that you cannot do with your own mind what you want to do, then you're just, right? Life is hierarchical. There's always going to be kings and there's always going to be peasants. If you have a mind that you can't control, then you're never going to be a king. You're going to be a peasant. That's your life. You have a peasant's life ahead of you, and that's your that's your destiny. Enjoy. Right? There's always been peasants. That's life. But I, I believe that the most important thing you can do as a man is to gain control of your mind. Once you have control of your mind, life is so ridiculously easy. People say to me, Tate, you're in good shape. All you do is drink vodka and travel the world. You're never even home. You never even have a gym. How do you do it? It's ridiculously easy if you control your mind. If I decide to do a thousand push-ups, I'll do one. Maybe I have to do one at a time. Maybe I'll get tired. Maybe I need a break. I'm going to do a thousand because I said I'm going to do a thousand. Everyone knows what you're supposed to do. You, you either control your mind or you don't. And, and this, all of these things stem from the same problem. It's something you can do. It's something that is learned. It's something that is taught. Depression is the ultimate motivation. If you're unhappy with your life, if you're depressed, I don't expect you to be popping pills and sitting and laying in bed. I expect you to give me a huge list of everything you're achieving per day. Depression's a fantastic motivation, you know, but people are told the opposite. No, a lot of people's problems are all in their mind. And I'm not saying that mental conditions aren't real, because absolutely some are, but I try and explain to people, look, the only thing on the planet you have genuine control over is your state of mind. You can't control the weather, you can't control anything. The only thing you can affect in genuine real time is how you feel in your head. How you view the world absolutely and utterly shapes how you react to the world, how you act in the world, how people view you. It's all down to how you view things. You have to believe you're the fucking man, and you have to believe you can achieve anything. I'm not saying you can achieve anything easily. I'm not saying it's not going to take a whole bunch of work. I'm not saying it's going to happen quickly. You have to believe you can achieve anything.